Hey guys, what's good? It's your girl T. Drake. It's your girl T. J. I am back with another freaking video for you guys for some bomb a crimps for the low low so you can go to your walmart that's where i got my crimps from got walmart so you guys can head over there and um pick you up some crimpers also check the description section below i'll leave them um in there as well i found these a long time ago but y'all know i haven't been really using them like that i think i used them once or twice on my channel but i had them bring the babies out today because i was trying to look for a cute quick style that you know could have me going out the door looking you know bomb.com so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing that don't forget to stay tuned to the next part of the video also if you're not already subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button also click that notification bell next well yeah without further ado i'll see you guys at the end of the video all right guys so i went ahead off camera and um laid my wig down you guys know the routine i always use my got to be glue method when i'm doing that so now i'm just brushing it out and i did add some foam wrap lotion to the middle part area so it can lay down y'all know already know what the gag is i'm gonna go ahead and create some baby hairs um i just believe that baby hairs make it more at home it, it just brings that natural I don't know that feel y'all know i can't live without my baby here so i'm i always i've been saying this for a while now that i want to try and get to units and you know style them without having the baby hairs so <laughs> hopefully you guys will see that coming up but for right now y'all already know what it is and i'm just taking my got to be glue hairspray and spraying onto my edge brush and just you know forming the baby hairs as well as i can okay um, also, I didn't put any foundation on this unit. I am going to go in and add foundation after the fact, but to prevent like clumping and caking and things, I would advise you to put the foundation on the inside of the unit. I don't even like putting powder on the outside after I created baby hair, so it looks cakey and crusty, and I just don't like the way it looks, so... Um, just be mindful of that if you're going to apply any type of foundation or pressed powder. Put it on the inside of the cap, not on top, on the outside, and yeah um like right here it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look that natural but my scalp does look a little ashy and that's because the lace is transparent but you know it doesn't have any color to it so i'm taking my beyond the zone heating spray and my pink glosser and i am just spraying the hair of course you want the hair to be protected um and also i like to have a little bit of sheen and shine when i am doing anything curls related and things like that i don't like too much shine when i'm straightening my hair because it's gonna look wet and oily but anytime it's you know i'm curling it or crimping it you know so i did go ahead and pick up these crimpers from walmart i think they're about 30 bucks um so yeah i do have it i think on the highest heating setting and i count to 20. now if you guys want a more defined curl you can count to like 30 or you can hold it each section for a minute but I love to do hairstyles that's quick and I just want some, you know, loose, not loose, loose texture, but, you know, some nice beach waves, if you can say, because like crimps are not, you know, they just give you that little cute wave pattern. So you just want to brush out each section, apply your heat and protectant, and then you can apply your gloss, sheen and shine, and then brush it out again to make sure all the products distribute through the hair. Um, I take sometimes take bigger sections and make them smaller, but you can start as far up or far down as you would like, and I just hold it there no specific way and then i move down to the next section and then i push up on it so i can see the fold as you guys can see i'm doing here i'm just pushing up so you know it can form more and i just really do that throughout the hair crimping is not hard at all it's just about taking time and taking your time and just um working with it i know sometimes they can come out crazy looking because like sometimes i have my days where my crimps are bomb and then some days it's just like too much and i can't work with it so just take your time practice you don't get everything on the first try and that's okay it's about learning changing up your techniques and things like that so um yeah it's really nothing to it and after i get done each section as well i do put my got to be glue hairspray um spray it on there so the curls can stay in um the waves can stay in also you guys, when you're spraying that um, heat, I mean that hairspray, you can use spritz. You can use whatever you have, but just don't spray it too close because your curls can become hardening and, you know, just be a mess. So be careful. Just spray it far away from your hair. And, yeah, you just repeat this throughout your entire head. And that is really it. Like I said, this is a quick style. It's simple. It's easy. You don't have to go to a salon. You can do this right at home, sis. And that's what I'm here to teach you. And like I said, 
um, practice take perf. I mean, practice, it doesn't make perfect, but it makes improvement. So every time you're practicing this, um, every day you can set up time, you know, it gets easier and easier. But like I said, crimping is not hard at all. Anyone can do this. So that is it. And it is all sis. all right guys so we have reached the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed that video um like i said it was a very very quick easy uh tutorial for you guys something that you can do at home you don't need to go to the salon to get your hair does this this is what i'm here for okay i'm trying to stop us from paying all that money in the salon chairs when we could be at home you know slaying our own um update on this hair if you guys did notice I don't know if I said it in my intro or not, but this is the same hair I had in the split hair dye tutorial where I dyed one side blue. I'm not sure if you guys seen it. If you didn't, it'll be up here or it should have been in the beginning of the video as well. But I don't know. Check here in the description section and I'll link that video as well. But um, this hair has been holding up great. Did tangle up on me just a little bit. I got a little bit of tangles here and there throughout wearing it. However, it's still in its nice texture as when I first received it. Um this head thing though i don't remember if i said it in my split hair video or my head could be getting bigger so i had to pull it forward but it felt really really snug i don't know if my head just grew the time you know in between time i wasn't wearing the wig but i just noticed that it was a little bit small and i don't remember if i got a specific size but if you guys go back to that video the split hair video and the description checks in I oh, never mind, I'll be in this one. But I'll leave it below what size I got. So if I got a medium, you guys who have a big head, please get a large, you know? Because I, I just noticed it fit a little bit snug. It didn't really fit like, com it, it was just too small, okay? It was a little bit too small. So I don't remember mentioning that, but that's out of the way. But like I said, I haven't got any shedding, like dramatically shedding, like it's just coming and tumbling out. I did experience shedding though without the unit. Um, the color is, however, taking very, very well to the hair. I think it was a brighter blue though in my last video, but like I said, I've been washing it and wearing it in between. So this dye was semi-permanent, so it is gonna come out, but it's still a pretty, pretty blue. It's not too much. And it looks to me like a blue black. It looks like it's getting up to be a blue black, but I don't know. It could be just, you know, my camera. But anyway, I feel like this color is safer. You guys should try as well. If you guys don't want to like put a bunch of color in your hair, you know, um, this is like, it's like beginner colors. There's nothing that will make you stand out and everybody's running around looking like, what a girl got in her hair, you know? It's nothing like that. So yeah, we here with it. We here and we late, okay? So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I didn't have like tangling in the nape and stuff like that. I didn't have that. I was just having tangles with when I was detangling it um, after I let it air dry. So I should have probably uh, detangled it one more time before it drew, dried all the way, but I didn't. So that's it and that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know you guys' thoughts. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.